السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الحمد لله فرض نعمة وفضل إسلام عند راية عقيدة And we, as always, we need to find and to understand what Allah is did. He told us to do. And we need to understand Allah is what rules he brought for us. The sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This fiqh, this rules, this sharia, this ahkam Allah Azza wa Jal, he ordered us to do. And what are the things which he asked us not to do as forbidden? We shall obey Allah Azza wa Jal orders. We have to have khishya, fear of Allah Azza wa Jal. And we shall glorify Allah with ta'zim. We shall watch ourselves what we are doing. Allah is the one He can see what we are doing. And what it comes from us, we need to revise ourselves if we did something wrong or if we are about to do something wrong. There is somebody above us which we have to fear Him and we have to follow Him. If the person, he lost the fear of Allah Azza wa Jal and sensing that he is watched by him, then there is, new, there is no use for any work that he does. It is just a lost. Here we are going to continue today's lecture, inshallah, where we stopped about the hadith we already explained the dua, Allahumma adhib anhu harwaha wa baradaha wa wasabaha, as a part of the eye effect in heat and cold and pain. And it is symptoms. It is divided into two. One is the special one. It affects on the human direct or the person by himself direct. And there is another one which it is just in general. The one it is more specific to the person. It, it differs from person to another. For example, if it affects his body in a very powerful way, it could change his body appearance. Sometimes if he had, يعني, mashallah, if he is little bit, he has a weight, he can lose his weight, he can be thinner. And he can go thinner and thinner with the sickness, with no reason. Suddenly, he will lose weight. And if this person is beautiful, can lose the beauty from his face. You can feel this change. This the, this person, the face changed. The beauty, the beauty of this person went. And um, adding to that also affecting his. For example, if this person he's, he's smart, he's very good in his studies, for example, suddenly he will lose his memory and his, he cannot concentrate. And even if he was the first in the class or the first or the best in the country, you will see this person will start decreasing or lowering in his performance not improving in his studies, going more lower. And actually this eye can affect specifically on this person, where even the barakah which Allah Azza wa Jal, he, and, um, he provided for this person, you feel it is almost, it is going away or disappearing. 
like the ni'mah which Allah Azza wa Jal give this person from the beauty or from the being smart, anything that he's good at, you will see this person, he will start losing it. And regarding to the general one, most of the people who guess the eye, they are uh, similar. They have the same symptoms as a general. And this is by, sometimes you can find out by the ruqya, understanding it. And some of the people who does, and subhanAllah, as per the sunnah, which they are following, because also we need to be careful. For example, even if you read on yourself, if you notice a certain kind of symptoms keeps on repeating, whenever you, you're reading on yourself, then it has that relation with an eye so this is by the experience by the people who does the rukya they came to collect the general symptoms to know or to identify this person is affected by the eye as a general symptoms now we already explained about the specific one on the person where it can affect his body and his memory now we're gonna talk about the general one, which more most of them they agreed on accepting or uh, approving. These are the common symptoms that it happens as a general for the people. And here are some of them that it comes on the body that you're gonna feel there is a pain, like a headache from the front after asr or maghrib after asr or Maghrib, there is a headache from the front forehead. And also you can feel there is, you cannot breathe. You feel like the chest, there is something is seated on top of you that you can feel like you want to cry with no reason. Sometimes you feel pain inside the stomach and feeling like you want to vomit. Also, you can feel the shoulders are really heavy and there is something that is pulling your neck from behind. And sometimes you feel also so lazy and you just want to sleep and sleep and sleep a lot. Sometimes you feel there is a heat in the end of your fingers or different areas inside your body. And maybe you will be yawning, a lot of yawning, especially while you're going to pray with no reason. And while you're reading the Quran, you will feel the same. And sometimes it is connected with the tears. So when you're yawning, the tear comes whenever you read Quran or you are standing up for the prayer. And sometimes you feel like your fingers, is, there is numbness in your hands or your feet and sometimes also you can feel you lost the appetite of eating and again there is sometimes on the skin by itself you will start finding there is like um an effect like bluish color or purple color like circles like there is somebody hit he came and hit on your skin as if you did something bad on your skin, but you didn't do anything. You just woke up. You saw those like pinches on your body segregated with no reason that appeared in your body. And sometimes your face could be a little bit like yellowish. And also like a pinch in your heart. Sometimes you feel there is like a needles and it doesn't mean all the symptoms has to be collected at once together. Sometimes some of them, it can appear. Some of them, they can be together. Some of them, they are different. It depends on how um, this eye was powerful. And not only powerful, maybe there is an eye, the old eye, there is another new eye, and there is updated eye. So it depends how many eyes that you got, which affects the person so if most of it that you feel you have it or all of it then 
This is called accumulated I. So accumulated I, multi eyes. So it's not only one I. And usually the eye, if you go to the doctor and the doctor will check on your health, if you're complaining or the skin or anything, they will say there is nothing in the report that it shows, nothing. Even if you take medication, it doesn't work. Usually they're throwing it to the colon or the nerves issues, or the stomach nerves, or infection in nerves, they cannot explain it. So usually they throw it on that. So here is for today, inshallah. I hope that I benefit you with a short um, information regarding to the symptoms. Barakallahu feekum wa jazakumallahu khaira. We continue, inshallah, in the coming lecture. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Jazakumallahu khairah.